Well, this is a first. Doing follow-up audio coverage so quickly after an episode airs. As you know, I do update episodes every four months. So as to keep all of you in the loop as to what is going on with disappearances covered by Unfound. However, the information I received after the January 15th, 2021 Noah Davis episode was so important, or is so important, and it came out so soon after the episode aired that I thought it deserved this addendum. Yes, I could have waited until the upcoming live show on January 20th, or even to the next update episode in April. But it's that important that I thought I needed to give it this kind of attention. Why? For a couple reasons. First, this is surely something that would have been included in the episode had I known about it before the episode came out. Second, I think this information continues a theme in which there is reason to doubt even more the timeline that has been created for Noah's disappearance. Why didn't I get the information before the episode came out? I really don't want to get into that. Ultimately, I am responsible for what happens on the program, and I will just leave it at that. So, what is the information? Well, you'll get to read it for yourself on theunfoundpodcast.com once my assistant, Natasha, posts it. It will also be posted in the Facebook group and on the Facebook page if we can make that happen. But it is a Facebook Messenger conversation between a Michael Cobb and Noah on July 27th, 2014. Yes, the, the Walmart day. It occurred after Noah and Courtney had gotten stranded at Walmart by Kendra and Michael Underwood. Yes, there are two Michaels in this story. Well, from this exchange between Michael Cobb and Noah, it is obvious that Cobb picked Courtney and Noah up that day after they got stranded, and not Uncle Rick. And this is a huge change to the timeline that I know most of you have seen. Moreover, as you will see in that message, Noah is wanting to go to a hotel. Uncle Rick is not mentioned at all. As soon as I saw this ex- uh, as soon as I saw this exchange, I called Kendra. She says she has never heard of Michael Cobb, and we have to remember Kendra had only known Noah for about ten days before he disappeared. She was introduced to Noah through Courtney. Uh, Courtney never, though, mentioned um, Michael Cobb during that time, and once again, Courtney is deceased. She died later in 2014. In addition, Kendra says that it is certainly possible that she inferred that Courtney and Noah got picked up by Rick due to Courtney messaging Kendra later and saying that Courtney was at Rick's when Noah walked off. What I'm saying is Courtney may have never mentioned Rick picking her and Noah up. up. Instead, Kendra just took it for granted. Remember, Kendra was not, was not there. Ultimately, when Noah and Courtney got picked up, whoever picked them up. I also spoke to Jason. He has heard of Michael Cobb, but that's about it. Jason says that he never knew Cobb and no, that he never knew that Michael Cobb and Noah spoke on July 27th, 2014. So this is news to Jason as well. But this leads me to some questions maybe that are already in your heads now that you're listening to this. Number one, since this exchange exists and has existed basically since 2014, why has neither Michael Cobb nor Uncle Rick ever come forward to correct the record, which is the timeline that is out there for everybody to see and has been out there for a very, very long time? Why have they never come forward to say, Michael Cobb come forward and say, no, 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 I'm the one who picked uh, Noah and Courtney up? Or why has not Uncle Rick come forward to say, no, I did not pick them up at Walmart or McDonald's that day? I think those are very good questions. Number two, Kendra's info regarding Noah and Courtney getting picked up was inferred secondhand info. Whereas these messages that you're now seeing between Noah and Michael Cobb are firsthand info. So why did whoever put the timeline together pick secondhand info 
over firsthand info. Because surely the person who created the timeline had to have known about this conversation between Michael Cobb and Noah, or at some point learned about it, but for some reason never changed the timeline. Number three, how did Courtney and Noah get to Uncle Rick's? If Michael Cobb took Courtney and Noah to a hotel, as the messages say, then how did it happen that Courtney was quote-unquote off of Cloud Springs Road many hours later with Rick? I'm sure all of you can come up with your own uh, set of unique questions regarding this new info as well, and I urge you to do so. You should know right now, uh, Michael Cobb and Rick are trying to be contacted. However, they have not responded to my knowledge in any meaningful way. I wanted to wait to do this addendum after getting their own stories regarding this, but I have to recognize that both may never explain what went on later on the 27th. So, I did this addendum without any comments from them. Should I hear from them, all of you will be the first to know. I will document their words on Facebook in the group and on the page and on the Unfound website. I will also talk about it on whatever Wednesday night live show happens after hearing from either of them. Thank you for understanding this unique situation and thank you for listening to Unfound.